Hello everyone. Welcome back to G Technical Academy channel. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to uh, simulate the effect of rainfall infiltration on the stability of the slope. As we know, the rainfall infiltration is one of the important factor affecting the stability of the slope because the rainfall infiltration change the overall seepage flow of the slope and uh, it also it change the it also change and decrease the shear strength properties of the soil and uh, also decreasing the factor of safety of the slope as you see this is our example which is going to be simulated by plexus 2d and the slope is uh, two horizontal one vertical and the rainfall intensity is 10 mm per hour and the duration of the rainfall is 24 hours so i open the plexus 2d uh, i go to file and project properties i give a title to the example for example i can write effect of rainfall on slope stability and uh, our model is uh, 45 meter long and uh, 25 meter high so in y in x maximum we have 45 meters and y maximum is 25 and I keep the other data as a default okay so we have two uh, boreholes uh, one is located at x equal 15 meters and the second one is located at x equal 35 meter so first i define the two boreholes i click borehole and click anywhere and in here the first borehole is at x equal 15 meter so i uh, add a uh, layer uh, the top of the layer is 25 meter and the bottom of the layer is uh, zero this is the top of the borehole and the bottom of the borehole and uh, the water table is located at depth of 10 meter from the bottom uh, of the model so in here i write the head is 10 meter so now i have to create the second borehole which is located at x equal 35 meter and in here i click the borehole and add x equal 35 meter okay and uh, the second borehole the height of the second borehole is uh, 15 meter and the bottom is uh, zero so the top of the borehole is 15 meter and the bottom is equal to zero and also the water table is located at uh, 10 meters okay now the geometry of the slope is defined in plexus 2d so the material now i need to define the material uh, this is the material which is going to be used in this example and the hardening soil constitutive model which it will be used and uh, this is the parameter of the soil to decrease the time of the uh, video i already uh, prepared uh, uh, I already pre defined uh, the material uh, so this is the material I can see here is uh, the hardening soil model and drain condition 
uh, unit rate of the material and uh, the stiffness and uh, friction angle and uh, cohesion also the ground water properties of the material so now I assign this material to the uh, geometry of the slope okay so now uh, I also defined uh, the material and I assign the material to the boreholes uh, the next step is uh, meshing we we don't need to uh, go to this structure because we don't have any structure to uh, define in this tutorial so we go to uh, we click uh, mesh um, we we are going to uh, make some coarseness uh, of the mesh for example in the in this line i'm going to use uh, 0 0.1 and uh, this one and this one is uh, 0 0.5 I create uh, the mesh generate mesh I use uh, the media mesh to decrease the time of the calculation okay now uh, the me the me the mesh is generated so we can uh, view the mesh okay this is uh, the mesh of the um, our model so uh, in this region i try to uh, use a finer mesh because as we know uh, the critical uh, slip surface of the slope uh, generally happens in uh, in the slope uh, in this region okay so I define the water table in the borehole so I don't need to uh, go to the flow condition phase so we now go to the staged construction and uh, First, we have initial phase. As we know, the slope is uh, not horizontal, so I have to change the K0 procedure to gravity because, as we know, the slope is not horizontal. And uh, I keep the other parameter as uh, default. Uh, so, in uh, when we when we uh, investigate uh, the effect of uh, infiltration on the uh, rainfall we have to uncheck the ignore section and uh, after the initial phase i add another phase and uh, i name it the factor of safety and uh, in the calculation type i change to the safety uh, I I keep the other parameters as default and uh, now we are going to add another phase uh, we click in the initial phase and add another phase and uh, in this phase we use the infiltration I write uh, the name of the phase the rainfall which is uh, uh, 24 hours and it starts from the initial phase and for the calculation type I have to change uh, uh, to the fully coupled fluid deformation and the time interval is 24 hours which is equal to one day um, I keep the other parameters also as a default and for this phase i also have to add another phase to uh, calculate the factor of safety after the rainfall uh, after the 24 hour rainfall so i add another phase and i write factor of safety of after rainfall 
uh, so I change the calculation type to safety mm, I also have to end check the ignore sections mm, now I think everything is okay okay so in the initial phase and factor safety for the initial phase we don't have to change uh, we don't have to activate the ground water flow boundary condition so as we see in here uh, for this example this is our flow boundary condition in the bottom of the model we have impervious uh, layers but in this side and this side we have a seepage uh, boundary conditions and on the top of the slope we have the rainfall which we are going to simulate by infiltration so in the rainfall phase we activate the ground flow boundary condition and uh, we check the flow boundary condition the bottom uh, of the geometry should be closed because it is impervious layer and uh, the left and right of the slope is the seepage and uh, the top of the slope we change to infiltration and uh, the amount of infiltration is uh, it means the rainfall intensity is 10 millimeter per hour which is equal uh, 0 0.12 meter per day so in here I write 0 0.12 okay I think now everything is okay I uh, before <coughs> running the analysis I choose a point to uh, draw a curve I click here and I choose a point on the crest of this slope update now everything is okay so I calculate Okay, the analysis is uh, finished now. I save uh, the model. So uh, to see the results, I click view calculation results. So first I see the factor of safety without rainfall and uh, uh, this is the uh, failure surface of the uh, the most critical failures, failure surface of the silo and uh, the factor of safety after the rainfall so as we see the failure surface is uh, very shallower than uh, the previous uh, phase as uh, we see in here this is 
the most critical failure surface due to uh, the rainfall so um, if I go to deformation and uh, incremental strain this is the most critical failure surface after the rainfall and this is most critical surface without the rainfall and to see the factor of safety uh, we can click here edit phase the factor of safety of the first phase is 2.38 and after the rainfall is about 1.83 to see uh, the factor of safety in uh, curve we click the curve manager and new in here I select the point or the crest of the slope and in the y direction we have the M sigma MS F so I go to sitting and just check the factor of safety without rainfall and with rainfall and also change this one to maximum to one as you see this is the lower curve is the factor of safety after the rainfall and uh, the upper curve is the factor of safety without the rainfall and thank you for watching uh, this video to get more and more interesting videos uh, uh, in geotechnical application please do not forget to subscribe to our channel